Corporate profits are rising as inflation continues to really hurt families across the country. Our Mike Rush sat down with Carl Everston Hillstrom, and he is with The Hill, and he gives us a look ahead into the prices. What you found out in your article is that while many of us consumers are feeling the pinch, some companies are experiencing uh, record profits. What do they attribute those earnings to? Yeah, I mean, when you look at uh, food inflation, for example, that's been one of the most frustratingly persistent areas where inflation just will not come down. Um, a lot of food companies in recent weeks have been boasting to investors that they've been able to raise prices over and over again. Um, uh, and that's really what is driving their their profits. Um, you know, these companies are not selling more of their products necessarily. Um, in some cases, their volume is, is actually down. Um, but they are charging a much higher price. So the margin they get on every single sale uh, is bigger than it really it's ever been. Um, to give you an example, uh, Kraft Heinz, uh, a company I think we all know well, uh, uh, hiked its prices 15% in the fourth quarter of 2022 alone. Um, so <laughs> certainly if, if every company was uh, raising prices that much, we'd be in, in big trouble. Right. So will the companies keep raising prices even though inflation is up, going up? Well, it, it's interesting. A lot of these companies uh, told their investors who, who were very eager to hear about their pricing plans that uh, they don't necessarily have any plans to raise prices this year. Um, and I think what they're seeing is that there is starting to be a bit of a slowdown in demand for these companies that have raised prices a ton. Um, you know, for a long time during the pandemic, a lot of Americans had a bunch of cash. You know, they were very willing to spend. Uh, now we're seeing that uh, that excess savings is starting to dwindle a little bit. Um, and so these companies are now starting to see, okay, we've raised prices three, four times in these last few years. Now we're starting to see our volumes really start to dip as customers look for other options, you know, alternative store brand items, um, you know, discount grocery stores, or simply just buying less of, of what they need. Um, and so it, I think it remains to be seen whether there will be more price increases and it'll really be up to the consumer. You know, if consumers increasingly start to reject these price hikes, you won't see them continuing. And actually some companies might find themselves being forced to bring prices down. What is the connection, if any, between the profits of a company and driving inflation? So uh, obviously inflation um, primarily has been driven by um, a lot of the supply chain snags we've had, um, a lot of uh, uh, folks having a ton of money to spend because of the pandemic and, and keeping them in their homes, um, and especially spending a lot on goods and services. Um, but at the end of the day, what we see is that the extra costs that are on businesses when it comes to the supply chains, the higher wages that people are making, um, the profits very much outweigh these extra costs that are on businesses. So when you look at why inflation is quite as high as it is, you can't ignore the record profits and that companies are marking up these products to where, you know, they're going to charge uh, as high a price as they can where they don't lose customers. And what they've seen during uh, these last couple of years is they can keep raising the price and people will keep paying it. Um, there was a, a study with the Kansas City Federal Reserve that found that uh, corporate profits make up for over half of inflation, at least in 2021. Um, so it, it is a significant factor. Um, and really, we won't be able to see inflation uh, come down to the Fed's 2% target until companies start to bring down their prices or at the very least stop increasing them. It's an interesting topic for sure. And one that I, that I said earlier impacts all of us. I guess it'll be in the coming weeks and coming months, we'll see how those prices are impacted and whether or not those companies are responding to the consumers and bringing the prices back down. Carl, thanks for your time. And I do want to mention that you can read uh, Carl's full article on thehill.com. Thanks again for your time, Carl. And yeah, thanks for having me.